we're here in uh, Florida, Orlando area, and we just got back from uh, Disney's, what is it called? What is that called? Disney Spring. Disney Spring, okay. And it was pretty cool. Um, it was definitely, they definitely built it up. We were here last year, or two years ago, and it wasn't as nice as it was now. Um, so you can definitely tell it was, it was definitely built up. And it's great to be here, you know. Um, we, got, we come here probably once a year because we're able to, you know, because through our internet business, we can travel and we can enjoy our lifestyles and uh, we, can, we can go places. The next destination we're going to uh, is Toronto. And after that, our next planned trip is the Philippines. So we're gonna be going to Bohol, Philippines, where I'll be taking out my top managers, as well as about roughly 20 other employees. Um, and of course, my, my manager in the New Jersey office and, and uh, the videographer right now holding the camera, Sam, she's going as well. So we're gonna have a lot of fun there. Um, we're also gonna be going to the Maldives. Um, we're literally, it's gonna be like, maybe like about a month and a half, almost even two months. So we're going over to the Maldives, we're going to the Philippines, we're going to Bohol, Philippines. Um, we're going to Iloilo, Philippines. We're going to be at um, Bali, Indonesia. We're going to go to Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Um, to, you know, we're going to we go there for my cousins and also um, do this uh, adventure trip with, on, on a jeep in the back, in the, you know, the back country and the mountains and stuff like that. We did that last year. It was really fun. Um, and after that, we're going to be um, possibly Tokyo, possibly Hong Kong. But once you're in Asia, it's pretty much easy to get anywhere. Uh, it's just really a plane ride away. And it's really short, like maybe an hour or two for each country. But, and before that, we're actually going to be headed towards Argentina as well for another mastermind. But that just shows you that, you know, when you're able to control your destiny, you're able to control your life and just go anywhere you want. Like Sam's going to Cuba, right? Pretty shortly. Um, I mean, you don't get that freedom anywhere else. You don't get that freedom in a typical job or um, if, if, um, if you were to be hired in a corporate position, you don't get that anywhere else. And that's what I love about internet marketing is that it allows you to do these things. Um, I mean, I have I have one of my friends who used to work for me, and he basically he traveled like three months out of the year, like every year. So we went all over the place. We went on cruises. We did all kinds of things. We went to Asia again. You know, we went. We did all kinds of things. Um, but now he's working in corporate again, and he doesn't get that opportunity, the same opportunity. Right, he he basically is at his desk all the time. Um, I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't like his job. I mean, he likes his job, but it's not the same. It's not the freedom that you get working online. It's not the freedom that you get where you have the capabilities of working online and you can essentially go anywhere you want and still have your computer and an internet connection and still do work. Like just yesterday. Um, two nights ago, actually, two nights ago, um, I ran a webinar where we made over $21,000 in that webinar. And with the replays and everything else like that, we should be able to hit another $20,000, $30,000. So I spent $12,000 in that webinar to help my friend launch his software. Um, it's called Shop Trace. And essentially, like, I mean, and everything went wrong, right? I mean, like I had to pick up my wife and Sam at the airport. We thought, I thought I was gonna be late for the webinar. I spent over $12,000 in this webinar. Um, and everything went right. It was, it, it, was, it, just, it was just fine. Like we got back just in time for the webinar. We were able to launch the webinar. And literally while we're, in, we're on vacation, right? While we're on vacation, still was able to pull in over $21,000 over the internet. 
Um, we had over you know 4,000 people registered on the webinar, and we had a good show up rate. Um, and like I said, with the replays, we should be able to double or even triple our revenues um, from that software launch. But yeah, I mean, that's the possibility of, of the internet, right? You can, you can work anywhere. And I can take my laptop, open it up, run traffic to my websites, to my businesses, and make money while, even while I'm asleep. Like while I was asleep, we made sales as well. And that's, that happens all the time. We make sales on our e-commerce stores. We make sales in our, um, in our coaching business. We make sales in our, um, the courses that we sell. And that's possible through the internet. The internet is kind of like your 24 seven salesperson. Okay, imagine you're, you're in retail and, um, and you're trying to do this. You can't really sell 24 seven. Your, your selling time is probably between the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Online, your hours are from 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, you're selling consistently. You have traffic all over the world. You have traffic from um, Asia, you have traffic from Europe, you have traffic from South America, North America, you've got traffic in Australia. People are buying 24 seven. And that's the power of the internet that not a lot of people really understand. They don't understand that, you know, you can run a business from your house. You can run a business in your pajamas, literally. Uh, I had a webinar where I ran and I was literally like just in my shorts. Um, you know, so that's the power of the internet. You can, as long as you have a great offer, you have something that people can use, something of value. And in this life, you have to be able to give something of equal or greater value in order for you to be able to retain and return um, that money to come back to you. So Jack Ma said it best, right? And I look up to him a lot. I mean, Jack Ma, he's a creator of Alibaba, AliExpress. He failed numerous of times. He, uh, he had businesses shut down numerous of times. He was, he was rejected from like, like, you know, KFC seven times. He was rejected from Harvard 12 times. Like this guy, he just never gives up. And that's the two characteristics of an entrepreneur is that you never give up no matter what. And so he says this, he said that in order to make a, mil a billion dollars, you gotta solve a $10 billion pro problem. So if you wanna impact the lives of millions of people, you gotta be able to reach millions of people. You gotta be able to reach 10 million people in order to solve, in order to you know make a million dollars. And that's the power of what we have on the internet. We have Facebook, we have Google, we have Twitter, we have Pinterest, we have Instagram. You can reach your market on these social platforms. It's made it possible now for the average person like us to be able to go and reach those markets. I mean, back then, you know, if you were to advertise, you'd have to be, you'd have to have a big budget and you wouldn't know if your advertising would work. Like typically advertising would be through radio ads, through newspapers, through TV, and you had really no metrics to finding out if it was working or not. Okay, so you couldn't really advertise like the big boys, like Coca-Cola, Walmart, Nike. You couldn't really do that. Nowadays, you can be on the same advertising platform as these big guys, and even side by side. You can, have, you can advertise right next to Nike, and you can have your own shoe line, and showing your own shoe brand to all these other people. And that's exactly what the internet gives us. Now, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about what type of business are you running right now? What type of business are you planning on running? And how can you get traffic to your business? Think about it that way. Now, once you get the traffic, how can you convert them into sales? That's, that's what internet marketing is all about. It's all about having the right product and placing that product in front of your customers. So whether you're, whether you're selling shoes, whether you're selling jewelry, whether you're selling bracelets, bags, whatever it is, it's just placing that product in front of your customer's eyes and presenting it and packaging it the right way so that they can be convinced to purchase your product. All right, that's really it. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys learned a lot today. And the biggest, the biggest takeaway from today is, number one, find out 
where find out who your buyers are who your target markets are so that's the thing most people don't really understand who they're looking to sell to who they're looking to um, promote their products to they don't understand that part first so do your research find out who's buying your product and then go out there and find the product that you want to you're going to sell and actually sell it all right once again Teo Van here and I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you later.